Hi Capricorn, welcome in. Thank you so much for being here and thank you guys so much for liking the video. So we're going to start with some money and career messages. Messages for Capricorn. Let's see. Messages for Capricorn. The Magician. I see some of you guys are starting a business or you should. Okay. The Magician is a card of power. I see you manifesting. I'm getting like a whole a lifestyle change here. Judgment. Wow. You're being called. You're getting a call. You're hearing the call. Let's see. Three of Swords. So I feel like you guys are not in a great situation right now, but you're manifesting your way out of it. Or you have the all the talent, all the skill to do this. Judgment tells me this is up to you. You know, we manifest our own reality, Capricorn, by our thoughts, feelings, and actions. Now, Three of Swords tells me you may be worried right now, or you may be in a position of feeling out of your comfort zone. Tell me more about that. You got to get out of your comfort zone. That's the thing. You got to get out of your comfort zone, the hermit in reverse. Some of you guys don't sleep on your talents. Are you sleeping on your talents? Are you ignoring the call that you're, you know, the universe is calling you to do something. We have the nine of cups, uh, making your dreams come true. And then we have the ace of cups after that, the moon in reverse. You got to release this. What are you afraid of? It's like you're afraid of your own desires or you're afraid of going after it. Some of you guys, you let perfectionism, eight of pentacles in reverse. You're allowing perfectionism to get in the way. Okay. The eight of pentacles can also be misdirected activity. Right? Like you're putting all your focus onto the negatives versus the positives. So this is something that the universe is wanting to address within you. The magician says you have all the talents, all the skills to accomplish something, to manifest something. You have the resources at least, okay? Got to be real with you, Capricorn. It seems like you're not focused. Either you're unfocused or you're not focusing on the right. Like you're not focusing on what your intuition is telling you or the wisdom. You're not focusing on the wisdom. You're not focusing on the divine energy that's being sent to you. You should be very focused on the struggle. Okay, very focused on what could go wrong. Or some of you guys, you know, with the five of wands, you maybe you're focused on competition. But the Knight of Swords in reverse and the Five of Wands, this is an energy of being unfocused or focused on the wrong things. And that's creating some sort of block. You got to shut out the hate, Five of Wands, or you got to shut out things that are not serving you, serving your divine purpose or serving your greatest good here. So for instance, this could just be like people saying things to you that interfere with what you want to do. Or this could be like, maybe you think there are other people around you that are competing with you. This is, don't focus on that. As a matter of fact, like turn your back on that. Don't focus on what anyone else is doing. Just focus on what you're doing and ha the way you do it. Okay. Anything in regards to money? Well, yeah, your money is uh, changing in a positive cycle or your money is in a positive cycle. Because of your fast thinking. So it's like you got to be able to act quickly. It, you know, take initiative and act quick quickly. When you get like a, a download or an intuitive hit that you should do something. A lot of the times what separates successful people from unsuccessful people, Capricorn, is the successful people typically just, they think something, they take action on it. They don't, they're not fearing the failure. Does that make sense? They're just acting on it anyway, acting on it intuitively. So that's what's going to get you to success is, you know, pulling the trigger, taking action, executing the plan. Okay. Enjoying the energy while it lasts. Some of you guys are going to get energy and you might only have the energy for a short period of time. Take advantage of the energy that you're feeling in the moment. Don't put it off. That's what's going to lead to more money is what it's telling me.
Let's see how people see you. Now, just like typical readings, only take what resonates, okay? Um, don't try to force. Some messages may fit and some may not. How do people see Capricorn right now? How do people see you, Capricorn? How are people viewing you? People see you as knowledgeable, okay? With the Hierophant, like you have a lot of wisdom, a lot of knowledge, almost kind of like a guru, right? you speak about spiritual things okay i feel like there's an admiration like people admire you for the knowledge or your wisdom you okay so it's like you really okay how it's coming to me is like you really look like someone who knows what they're talking about is how it's coming to me thank you guys for liking the video let's see we have the seven of swords they people can't People can't get anything past you. Page of Pentacles. So I'm getting two things from this energy. The first thing I'm getting is there are people around you that feel as if they're met with a stop sign with you. Like the people who have tried to get away with things or the people who you call people out or it's like your energy people are affected by your energy when they try to be deceptive or when they try to play you. Like, I feel like you're either a natural BS detector or it's like people don't even try. People know you're not the one to even try to manipulate or try to get away with things from because you're so wise or that you can read energy. They may not put it, they might not put that into words that way, but it's like energetically, that's how they feel around you. Okay. Now, the other thing I was getting is someone, people may view you as someone who got cheated on. Okay. They may know that you got cheated on by someone. Why the page of pentacles? People see you as someone who found out the truth or will find out the truth. Ten of Cups, the Sun, that you're surprisingly doing really, really well despite the negative things that have happened to you. Like people are, people are in awe of how you have taken deceptive situations or you know shitty situations, and it's almost like you've transmuted the energy into something positive for your life. Okay, or you're in the you're in the process of doing this. People see you as always seeing the good, whether you do or not. People see you as someone who always see you're an optimistic or you always you you have the ability to point out the good things in life or you know the good things that are ahead. Like you are someone who looks at the brighter side. Okay. There are some people around you that see you as getting cheated on. You know, it's kind of like Maybe you were put in a third party. I just, I feel like some pe sometimes people talk about that. I don't think it's like the main topic of discussion, but it's, it's almost like people, I know this is going to sound weird, but it's like people admire you for handling a uh, handling a pretty shitty situation so well. Like people admire you for that. Okay. Kind of like maybe you were dealt a bad hand. So when people talk about that, it's almost like they're seeing you as someone who is genuine or someone who's really taking a bad situation and, and, you know, making a positive change for yourself or you have, okay. We have the nine of wands here. So you don't let people see you as someone that doesn't let people in easily. You're so strong to other people and it's like it's to the point to where it's you know they're they're wondering how do I want to say that 
there are some people that think you need to rest or people that think you need to, you, you may need time for yourself. Okay. Cause you do come across someone, you, you have such a great character about you is what is the main theme of this spread. People see you as someone who is very strong willed, strong minded. You don't give up nine of wands. You don't allow deceptive people or shitty situations to prevent you from being happy in the long run. And the Page of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, I'm sorry, Ten of Cups, the Sun, people see you as someone that is always focused on the positives, the positive outcome. And therefore you must have, you know, therefore you have a strong sense of sense of self, a strong character. Okay, Five of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. I will say this. People do think that you have been un... How do, what's the word for that? That you have been treated very unfair. Sorry, I had a brain fart, y'all. People see you as someone who has been treated very unfair in life. But it's like you always have this ability to come out stronger. And they see you as someone who's... You, you really have persevered a lot in life and your skin is thick. Okay. That's why the Hierophant came out first. They just see you as someone who has really been to hell and back, okay, and acquired all this knowledge along the way. Specifically with that Seven of Swords, there may be someone that thought they could get away with something and they couldn't get away with it. So when they think about you or when they see you, they're reminded of the fact that they couldn't get away or you didn't let them get away with something shady. All right, let's take a look at the singles. Uh, let's pull a card for you singles. What does the universe want the Capricorn singles to know? Keep in mind, um, guys, I like to switch my readings up. Um, so I'm not sure how long I'll keep those other spreads. Uh, you can tell me your thoughts and opinions in the comment section, because I do take those into consideration. Okay. Let's see. Universe, what do you want the singles to know? What do you want the singles to know? What do you want the singles to know? Um... Some of you guys feel like you're in like a repetitive situation where you're constantly awaiting a message. Some of you guys feel like, oh, hold on, y'all. Malachite's having a bad dream, I think. Baby, what you doing, honey? You okay? He's like whimpering. He's over there sleeping. Okay, so what I'm getting for you singles is it's like there's something repetitive here with the hammer. Uh, the way somebody is treating you, talking with you, like you're constantly waiting for their message to arrive. Some of you guys feel like, some of you guys may feel like you're talking to someone that is like narcissistic. Or if it's not, you don't, or if you don't think they're narcissistic, it's kind of like they have the ability to suck you back in. Be singles, be mindful of people keeping you in this constant state of waiting. Okay, and that's all I'm going to say about that. Who's coming toward the singles? Just be mindful of that energy. Let's see, who's coming toward the singles? Capricorns. Who's coming toward the single Capricorns? Who's coming toward the single Capricorns, please? Someone that's held back.
They're held back from you. They juggle or they can't make a decision to save their life. Could be another earth sign. Ace of Cups. The her This is crazy. So y'all, the person coming towards you, this is a situation where it's like they can't they constantly keep you waiting. And it's almost like they drop little little crumbs or like they get your hopes up and then they make you wait and then they get th be mindful of that energy. The two of pentacles, this person does I think they're very busy, like they are, so that could be why they're keeping you waiting. But what I mean by be mindful of people keeping you waiting is it's like people will talk to people they want to talk to. You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? I do see a strong sexual attraction coming towards you. Okay, I do see a one night stand. You know, the de it depends on you if you want to take it. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting someone who is a one night stand or that's what they want. Yeah, death card, then it ends. Be mindful of people, unless that's what you want, right? I'm getting a very casual situation coming towards you, but what I don't like is the Ace of Cups being here tells me that they get your hopes up. Okay? It's someone to, it's someone coming towards you to get, get your hopes up only to walk away. Be mindful of a Scorpio, a Pisces, a Virgo. Let's take a look at the new person. Now, that's for you singles that don't have any, you know, new people in your life. All right. Or someone, you know, you'll know if that message is for you or not. Okay. So if there is a new person right now that has caught your eye. Let's take a look at that. How does the new person see Capricorn right now? How do they see you? Turning your back on them? They see you as walking away. They see you as held back. The new person thinks you're holding back from them. How do they feel? How do they feel about Capricorn? They're obsessed. The devil. So I'm going to say that this is, you're not giving some, they're obsessed with you, Capricorn. All right. Spirit told me to really let you know. This person is obsessed with your energy. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and say that intuitively I'm picking up on you not giving someone, you're not making something easy for this person. You don't make it easy. You're not easy, right? Oh, Capricorn, they want you so bad. They want, they want to drop that thing. All right. Did you catch my drift? Okay. So there's definitely a strong sexual attraction here. But they see you turning your back. They want to do, okay. I don't know what exactly happened here. Sword Capricorn. I'm getting no one else. Okay. I don't know if you've already had sexual relations with this person or not. Some of you have, some of you have not. If you have, those of you that are in that category, you did something that blew their mind. You absolutely blew their socks off. All right. Now, if you have not had sex with this person, they have built you up so high in their mind they're obsessing over it, a fantasy. Okay. 
they want to out they want to live out this fantasy they definitely have you they've really built you up in their mind okay and their imagination here what are their next steps toward capricorn to play games five of swords to play mind games they're going to continue playing games with you head games ten of pentacles this is how so this person's severely misguided here or misdirected you could be dealing with a pickup artist but this is someone that thinks in order to get what they want they have to play games okay they don't know any way around it the star but you know the you're their end game like you're what they want capricorn the star the ten of pentacles like they see a future with you the problem is their next steps is to play mind games with you so just be mindful of that so you turned your back on it because of it in the past like they've already been doing this and so you are in the six of sword you're holding back your energy okay which has caused them to obsess even more Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, sometimes I don't need further clarification. But I just do it for shits and giggles. But um, yeah, you're just held back. You're like, it is what the hanged man. You're like, you know what? I'm just going to let it be. It is what it is. I'm not entertaining someone who is constantly trying to mess with my head. And you're not, you're making it known somehow because they see you as turning away. They see you. So you're really showing up for yourself here. Because at the end of the day, Capricorn, we teach people how to treat us. We, we show people what is and is not acceptable. Just know they're going to come right back toward you and do the same song and dance with you that they've been doing. Possible Aquarius, Pisces, Capricorn placements. All right. So let's take a look at the one where there was some type of past incident between you and this person. I'm going to use this deck. Let's see. A lot of waiting. Oh, this person. Okay. Someone is selfish. King of Pentacles in reverse, Two of Wands in reverse, Page of Wands. Immature, selfish, okay, greedy is who we're talking about. This person's very materialistic. That's how they're showing up in the reading. They could be very materialistic or it's like, I'm talking about an unhealthy. We all like materials, right? Let's be real. This person places, they're superficial is what I'm trying to say. You would see them as someone who lacks direction and they're superficial. A tease for some of y'all. The page of wands in this energy can be a tease. Is how it's coming to me. So how do, how do they see Capricorn? Jeez, your cards are really speaking. They want to work this out. Three of pentacles. For them seeing you as the three of pentacles, like you have all the attractive qualities that they want in another person. Okay, your ability to, like I'm getting they see you as someone who has common sense too with the three of pentacles. Like you have common sense, you, you, you work well with others when you're treated. They know that when you're treated well that you, you can really create something with that. Three of swords, 33 could be significant here, 32, 22. 31 and 21 are some numbers that are popping out here. Did they put you in a third party, Capricorn? Or is there a third party here? Is there someone else here? Either way, the general is they're worried about what's going on in your head. Nine of Swords. Three of Swords, Three of Pentacles. They worry about how you perceive the situation. How you recognize the situation is what they're worried about here.
Like they know they hurt you or that they're hurting you. Three of swords, nine of swords. They, they put you in some state of anxiety or meant y'all point blank. They know what they did was wrong or what they're doing is wrong. So when they look at you or, you know, when they think about you, they think about how they have created an unnecessary conflict, mental conflict here. Because they think you're in mental conflict about them and about the situation. The moon for how they feel and the three of cups. We got three, three, three here. The moon, the three of cups, the nine of wands. So it's like they fear a reunion. They fear your reaction to their return or, you know, to the, their attempt. I'm getting like they actually have a fear. They actually have anxiety with the moon. They have anxiety upon returning. Or it's like if you see, some of y'all may see this person on the regular. Some of you don't. But those of you that do, it's kind of like they get anxiety before they see you is specifically what I was getting. They get, like, if they know they're about to see you, they get anxiety about it. Okay. Now, others of you, if because I feel like some of you may, some of, there's a group of you Capricorns that may still be in some type of environment with this person. Now, those of you that are not, um, this is just their, their fear of return, a reunion. Nine of Wands, you know, to me as a reader, when it comes out and with these other cards, can be embarrassment. Like, I feel like this person is kind of embarrassed. Like, embarrassed by their actions. But the Page of Wands tells me they've always played it off like they weren't. Or they always play it off like they're not. But they actually are. What are their next actions? King of Wands. They're going to take action. Two of Swords. And then they close off again. So the reason why they're closing off and the reason why they keep pushing you away, because I think this is a reoccurring thing, is because they don't want to make a decision between you and the third party, if there's a third party, or they don't want to make an actual decision here. That's why they take action towards you, then push you away. Take action towards you, then push you away. Because they don't want to actually make a decision. But they don't want to lose you altogether either. So this is kind of like, um, it's like they keep you at arm's length here. They keep you, it's an energy of like showing interest, then, then pushing you away. So here they come to show interest again, Capricorn. But just know they close off again after that. Sorry. I feel like this person doesn't know what they want, guys. They stay awake at night thinking about you, is what their hidden truth is. Let's see. Give me one more. They want you so bad, guys. So, for some of you guys, the reason why they can't make a decision is because there is another person here. There is another person here. And they can't decide who to settle down with. But they also don't want to lose either one of you. Because both of you bring something for them. I don't know what it is. Um, I will say this. When... When they're in the stage of pushing you away, or when they're in... When, when the connection's in the stage of you not showing as much interest as you normally do, or when you seem like you're ignoring them, that's when they want you the most. Is when, when they feel as if you're unreachable, or when they feel as if you're unattainable. That's when the King of Wands energy starts to kick in. That's when they're like, oh, I gotta have Capricorn. I want Capricorn so bad. So this is someone that just wants what they cannot have. Okay. Now, I'm going to pull an advice card. 
intuitively, I feel like you Capricorns are just going to be the permanent one that they cannot have. I truly feel for a lot of you Capricorns, you're going to permanently turn your back on this. And then they're always going to want you because you're, you're always going to be the one that got away that they couldn't, they couldn't decide on. They couldn't make, they could, they couldn't set like, you know, settle down with. And therefore you're the one they want. Give me an advice card for Capricorn. Knight of Cups. Follow your heart. Follow your dreams. Follow, you know, give to things that are giving to you, right? Give, give your heart to things that are nourishing your heart, right? I will say this. You have a new person coming in anyway that you have not even met yet. Hi, Priestess. Follow your intuitions. Invest in people who invest in you. Okay. We have the high priest. Some of y'all have a Pisces coming towards you. But it's just like what I'm getting what one won't do, someone else will. Is your advice. What one won't give you, there's someone else who will. I hate saying it like that, but this person is replaceable. Sorry to say it that way. We have uh, Pisces here. A lot of Pisces. Some of you guys would be surprised that once a new person enters, that you're not, you're just not even going to be as hung up on someone as you thought you were. Some of you guys may have been bored, and this person caught your eye at the right time. All right. Let's do all signs, their sign. All signs, their sign, please. Aries through Pisces, Aries through Pisces. All right, if you're dealing with an Aries, they're interested. Tell me more about that. The Aries wants you. Okay, I see the Aries is going to start putting in more effort. If you're dealing with a Taurus, they want to commit. If you're dealing with a Gemini, they're turning their back on this. It is, but they're in their head about it. The Gemini, I'm getting a Gemini, like, they're in their head about it. That's why they turn their back on it, or they're getting spooked. Be, be weary of that, Gemini. If you're dealing with a Cancer... They obsessively watch you from a distance, okay? The Cancer keeps tabs on you. If you're dealing with a Leo, communication coming in from a Leo, but I do feel like they're a tease. They're not going to give you what they want immediately, but I do see communication coming in. There's still a desire to have connection with you, though. If you're a communication from a Libra... I'm actually getting that communication is going to involve you two going to the next level. Scorpio is losing all hope. Okay, they're not very optimistic that you two will last or, you know, that much will come of this. They're losing hope in the situation. The Sagittarius is bitter towards you. The Sagittarius has feelings, but I think there's a Sagittarius that may have... The Sagittarius may be a little salty about this, about the way things are going. The Capricorns take an action. The Aquarius wants to invest in you. They see you as a good investment. Okay. The Pisces wants to ask for your forgiveness. For ghosting you. Did a Pisces ghost you or they withdrew from you? It's telling me they felt really overwhelmed and they want your forgiveness for what, whatever they did. All right, everyone. Thank you guys so much for liking the video. I really appreciate it. And I will see y'all later. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I might be on here later. I don't know. So if you want to turn your notifications on to get notified for any of the readings, because I'm not sure if I'll be on tonight or, or what. So anyway, 